Hello and welcome back. Well, I made this CNC wood lathe with an inch and a half by eight thread per inch spindle. And the reason I did that is because that's what my Logan has and I got a pretty good selection of chucks. Plus it's a good stout spindle. But most wood lathes are uh, one inch by eight threads per inch. So the availability of uh, chucks that are appropriate for a wood lathe are, are not really good not without some kind of adapter. And I wanted a self-centering forge job, which I don't have on my Logan. So I bought a self-centering forge job meant for a wood lathe. And, uh, but it's got an inch by eight thread per inch spindle or mount. So I gotta modify it, but that's what I got. Let me show you what I got. Unlike a metal lathe chuck, it doesn't have a key. It's got two levers. You stick them in here and do that to a little easier to do when it's on the lathe. Anyway, let's see how it's put together. It's actually pretty cool the way this thing is made. This is like a little adapter, like a backer plate, backing plate for the chuck. I don't know why, but they should sell this chuck with a specific adapter, like a one and a half inch or whatever. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bore that out and make it one and a half. Thing is, I'm very close to inch and a half between those screw holes. But I think very close will be okay. Uh, it'll be about where that recess is right there. Things made kind of neat. That's the scroll. Of course, these are reversible jaws, and I'm sure it's not accurate to a thousandth or anything like that, but it's plenty good for wood. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to turn this, open that bore, and thread it for inch and a half by eight. Well, I had this thing chucked on this flange here, this reduced section, and when I got it centered, it was wobbling this way. So, I'm going to try sitting it against the chuck and see if it'll be more true. There we go, we're down to a half a thousandth or less. Definitely good enough for me. Oh yeah, and we're, we're true this way too. Okay, I got an inch and a half backing plate here. And I've measured the internal threads. And it's 1.34. 1 1.347.
Okay, right there I'm touching. I'm fairly certain that's not deep enough, and I'm going to take it off and try it on my Logan lathe. Try it on my other lathe too. I didn't get the spindle on my wood lathe exactly the right size. It's slightly smaller. Okay, I tried it on the metal lathe and the wood lathe. And the wood lathe was a better fit, but it was still tight. So I'm going to take one more pass off of here and then call it, call it good. Probably should have uh, cut a relief in here before the threads start, or at least a bevel before I cut these threads. But what I'm going to do, put my boring bar on here, and then chase the threads with this. I have to keep real good track of where I was in the compound. Take this out of back gear for a minute. That worked way better. 
like it. I got these jaws on there wrong when I had it apart. Hey there. I like it. Hopefully it'll work out good. There's a little less mass rolling around there, which is a really good thing. Wood lays spin a lot faster and having all that extra mass on there worried me. This something that concerned me though is this chuck had no RPM rating on it. It's only a, I think $69, $70 on eBay. Not too bad. No brand name on it. Well, that about wraps it up, and thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.